now that we have the footage, we go on to the editing stage. Now, I'm not going to describe how to use every different piece of editing software because there is so much and one can go into an astounding amount of depth. But suffice it to say, there are the two main editing programs. Now there's the first one you have for Windows, which is Windows Movie Maker, and the second one you have for Macs, which is iMovie. Now these are both very basic, simple editing tools. Here are two good tutorials for both programs. If all your editing is a speech, there won't necessarily be an awful lot of complicated editing required. As I've already mentioned, one has the multiple angles if you use multiple cameras to cover a speech. And the best idea is to cut between these different angles so you can shorten the length of the speech. For example, you can have the first shot at which point somebody says the introduction to their speech, say half a minute, and then you can cut to the second shot, the second angle of the speaker, maybe a close-up or a head and shoulders, where the person says their key points. And then, for the ending, you can cut to the first shot again of the speaker, where he sums up and finishes the speech. This allows you to cut out lots of extraneous material from the speech, which isn't necessarily, and allows you to get to the key point. If the video simply ends up on the Green Party website, that could be a strong enough way to promote the video. However, I would highly recommend the different communities within the YouTube system as a way to promote the video. Whilst creating your own YouTube page is a good start, it is not necessarily the best way to get the most number of viewers. The best way is to get it onto heavily read blogs and websites, as well as other YouTube channels. And so, simply, the most fundamental idea is to send the video to effectively everyone who may have an interest in it. One example of success story I experienced was during my coverage of an Aro Valley meeting in the 2008 election. Now Stephen Franks made some charming comments about the Civil Union Bill which were raised again by Grant Robertson, his opponent and current Wellington Central MP. Particularly in light of some of the other comments that you made around that time, Stephen, which I'll, I won't go into now, but they weren't particularly positive towards the queer community. I think you might be thinking that I said I was sick of grumpy Christians and whining gays. No, it was the one when you said, um, <laughs> I love my dog, but that doesn't mean I should be able to marry it. Well, that was a nice oh. 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 Whilst the standard initially adopted the video, I also sent this video to Agenda TV, which was running a campaign clip competition. The idea being was that they were promoting citizen journalism and people getting footage of the different candidates for the election. When it was screened on TV1, its viewings went through the roof because everybody who watched it knew about it. There were many responses and blogs about the clip itself and it essentially became a piece of news. One such of these blogs being the Hard News Public Address blog of Russell Brown. And so the Stephen Franks video, which I simply sent into a competition, became one of the integral parts helping Grant Robertson win the Wellington electorate. Another clip footage of a university second year theatre performance wound up on the standard because of its political content, but also simply because I sent it in and they were looking for things to display. And this also occurred during the Green Party digital campaign in which a short Do It For Love Party for Green ad wound up on a blog and its viewings went up from 60 to 1,700 over a couple of nights. In conclusion, I would say that if you feel you have captured a significant event on camera, you put it on YouTube and send it to everyone who might have some interest in it because you have no idea how far it could go until you try. The influence and significance of internet blogs and sites like YouTube on the outcome of the 2008 election was huge and this is only going to grow and grow and grow. And so the more people we can get giving us a voice 
and making us more a part of this ever-widening, ever-growing international community, the better.